The attacks on our internet freedoms continue. A secret trade negotiation is going on right now in South Korea, of all places, which will most likely lead to your internet service provider spying on your internet habits. What's going on? Like I have argued here over and over and over, first it's your civil liberties, then it's your economic liberties, and now the government wants to know exactly what you're doing online, what sites you're visiting, and what you're reading. We reported earlier this week that the CIA is financially involved in a front company that wants to snoop in on your social media and Twitter activities. But now a super secret meeting that's closed to the public is underway where governments are agreeing to curtail whatever freedom is left on the World Wide Web. Joining me now to discuss all of this is Shelley Roche of BiteStyle.tv. Shelley, welcome back to Freedom Watch. Hi, Judge. What's this all about? What, what freedoms are they trying to negotiate away under the guise of a trade agreement in South Korea? Well, Judge, what's particularly alarming about this is the degree to which the administration has gone to keep the negotiations secret. And when I say secret, I mean secret from the public, because they actually did invite 42 people to review and comment on this discussion, uh, subject to very strict non-disclosure agreements, so they couldn't talk about what they had seen. But 40 of those 42 people represented large corporate entities. So, you know, right off the bat, it, it doesn't look great for transparency. All right. um, this, is a, this is a trade agreement. There are two kinds of trade agreements. There is a kind like NAFTA, which is akin to a treaty that has to be confirmed or, or approved by two-thirds of the Senate. There are also right. trade agreements that the Congress has authorized the president to enter into on his own without requiring any congressional approval. In which category? I'm almost afraid of the answer, Shelley. In which <laughs> category is this proposed secret trade agreement this is an executive agreement which means it is not subject to congressional approval which gives us as the public virtually no accountability this would allow the president of the united states of america on his own and without seeking the consent of any other elected representative to tell internet service providers that they have to spy on americans who use the internet record who looks at what site under the guise of protecting copyright? Do I have this right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. And it's clearly a reflection of entertainment industry demands for stricter copyright laws. And they want them not only here in the U.S., but on a global scale. And, you know, we haven't seen the, any official documents because of, you know, the transparency issues. But there was a document that leaked uh, at the end of last week, and what we saw was very alarming. And as you said, it's, it's a reflection of these copyright issues. And uh, for example, um, ISPs will now be held liable if any copyrighted material is transmitted or stored on their networks. So uh, you know, the way things happen now, uh, just to give you a little background, is when you send an email or do something on the internet, your data is transmitted in two parts. And the one part is called a header, and it has just the basic information about where that data is going. Right. And that's what ISPs use to take your data and send it out where it needs to go. The other part of that data packet is the content. So when you send an email, the actual text of your email is in that content. What this, this threat of liability would, would uh, prompt ISPs to do is do what's called deep packet inspection, which gives them access to that content part of your data transmission. So when you send an email, they'll actually be reading the contents of your email to see if there's any copyrighted materials contained therein. And of course, they'd be able to read whatever they want, no matter how private it might be, and no matter how exactly. irrelevant it might be to the whole concept uh, of copyright. Well, we appreciate right. you bringing this story to us. Stay on top of it for us, Shelley, because most people don't know about it. And as always, thanks for joining us on Freedom Watch. Thanks, Judge.